Hi, I'm Patty from the Mind's Eye, and I want to introduce my guest today. It's Courtney and I Krabari, <laughs> and um, she helps me out, and she's one of my readers when I do the psychic dinners at Cara Gin, and um, she's going to come and start working with me uh, all the time, and I can't wait to have her. Um, so, uh, Courtney, uh, just tell me some of the things that you're, you're, you're going to be doing. Mm -hmm. And talk a little bit about the numerology thing, because I yeah. think that's cool, yeah. Uh, so uh, I'm a Reiki master um, through Patty, did my practice with you, mm -hmm. and um, tarot readings and numerology. Um, how I got interested in the numerology um, really started from astrology. At a young age, my brother was really interested in astrology, and then he actually showed me numerology. And um, it was really... Uh, empowering to know things about my blueprint. It, it changed how I walked through my life. Um, so it made a big difference and I just got kind of really into it and everybody I talked to, I'm wondering what their birthday is. <laughs> what their birthday is. So, um, so that's how you got involved with it. But how did it make it so that it kind of changed your blueprint because you had the awareness? Yeah, so um, uh, I understood th through the law of attraction that we create all the time what happens, what everything we get into. So with that awareness, I was like, okay, well, I'm creating uncomfortable situations for myself, you know, um, just as we grow up and, and experience. Um, so I, I remembered numerology, so I just kind of dived deeper into it um, later in life when I became a mom. So... Um, finding out my life path, my soul number, and my outer personality number. But then also something really interesting, it's called a divine triangle. And um, you have um, a number value, a number vibration, according to um, like each nine years of your life, you're going through a different cycle. So I'm a life path one, I'm an outer personality one, and I'm a soul one. So well-rounded, no, <laughs> but, uh, You're pretty you know. well-rounded, though. <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, so, um, and I'm in, in this, I'm 30, I just turned 30, which is exciting, that solar Saturn return, so around 30, numerologically speaking, 27 is the start of another uh, cycle for you, and um, my number for this cycle is 11, which is a a teacher number and there are three master numbers the 11 22 and 33 so um, with that just comes um, awareness mm -hmm. right and um, the ability to um, share like um, what some, some people may need but also with that can be very you know all over the place so being grounded in the practices of Reiki hypnotherapy that has really helped me ground all that so Excellent, yeah. excellent. How do you find out what your numbers are? So they're different. Your life path number is your birthday added up. So I'm 313, 1992. You add three plus one plus three plus, and you take each value, mm -hmm. and then you condense it. So it will equal a, a, a double-digit number, but then you condense that to a smaller number. Okay. Unless you get an 11, 22, and 33 off rip off the first time you do it and then that's a master number and that's your number so that's your life path your soul number and your outer number are with your name um, so that's interesting it takes the the vowels and the consonants in your name and each value you know like I'm C Courtney and that holds a three vibration so that has to do with my soup of who I am right so we're so many different pieces I'm not just a life path one that's like talking about like my pointer finger and its characteristics we're so many things so understanding pieces of ourselves we make different decisions. We're not, we're not trying to do something that ultimately doesn't make us happy. We learn about our, our true alignment, and that's ultimately how we can live life in a happy way, which is uh -huh. success, right? Absolutely. So. And I don't know that much about nothing compared to you about numerology, but I do do like, like a little entrance in my psychic development class. Yeah. And I was telling you before we started this, it was so strange because my my name, my life path number was like a six, and then 
it changed when I married my first husband. And it was like those years where I always felt like I was out of sync completely. And I wasn't going to take my next husband's name just because of, I had the other name for so long that you're just like, do I really want to change everything? And um, my first husband upset me. So I got mad and I didn't want his name anymore. So uh, he made one of my daughters cry, you know, and you know how we are with our kids, right? So I took the other number and it was like the day I took the other number, even though that me and I had been with for 13 years before we got married. Yeah. So it wasn't like it was a newness, but the day I took that number, all of a sudden I felt like I was in the lane again. And I think that's so strange that it's that happens. It's really cool as a psychic medium and all of your tools that you have that, you know, we have different areas of interest, passion that we mm -hmm. like. And um, it's interesting that you you felt it on a vibrational level, even though you didn't know that there was a shift happening yep. and you're sensitive. So you automatically immediately felt that. I felt it like right away. Yeah. It was just so crazy. Yeah. And it's fun too. Um, you can do it daily. So I like to see the date for the day and then um, understand what vibration the day is. Uh -huh. um, and then you can kind of go through your day with that awareness and be congruent with that vibration. So for an example, if it's a number one day, that's a great day to start something new, to be creative, to right. be without any hold bars, just, you know, just kind of, you know, create <laughs> and, and lead also. If you have something that you're, you're good at, it's a good day to, to take that leading role. So when you learn the different vibrational signatures of each number. It gets so fascinating and, you know, opens up our world, our sense world, our 3D world. It opens it up to more, which we know is, you know, there's more existing mm -hmm. as we are existing, so. Absolutely, it's absolutely. Awesome. And I, I, you've probably heard the story. I was supposed to rent another place. I was upstairs, I stayed hidden. Spirit told me I had to stop staying hidden. I went to get a new place. It looked like I was going to have a place. Thank Spirit for stopping it because Appenog ended up all torn apart and I wouldn't oh, even yeah, have a place to put anybody. And then um, Hillary, the, who we both know, uh, turned around and said to me, Patty, there's a place available. It's 111 Airport Road. And when I heard that, I gasped for breath. And I had decided on the place before they even opened the doors. Oh, I love that. And the person that was going to rent it had it like probably one of my least favorite colors and I walked in and it didn't matter. It just hugged me. It was just the weirdest thing. And I had this fabulous lady that um, has taught like angel classes for me and stuff. She was, when she found out I got it and I announced it, she was so excited because she went to get it, but her business is like after work, very small. So to cover the overhead, she wasn't able to do it. So she was yeah. so excited that she was gonna be able to come and partake into the Such 111. Such a beautiful Isn't space. That crazy? Uh, uh, every time I go up into the 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 practice, it, it does. It hugs you. Yes. I, from the first day and every day back, it's like I'm home, and you know that, that's credit to your energy. But it was probably always going to be your home. But I'm going <laughs> to tell you, I the other places that I've been, I've had to do work on energetic yeah. work on, but the second place more so than the first. And this place, I came in, and the landlord and her husband were incredible people, and they had the ability to help people. And even sometimes, if you couldn't afford it, they didn't charge you. Do you know what I mean? And her husband had a lawyer friend that would help the legal stuff, and he would help the insurance stuff, and, and they would do all those wonderful things. And he passed away, and his presence still there. And yeah. I love him there. I love him there because it's beautiful energy. Mm -hmm. But the 111 is just special. It's special. And you are a, a teacher, a master teacher. So it's, and it's time to lead, right? You mm -hmm. were like, Spirit told you it was time to get out there. And look, you got 111, which one, is one, all one. about that. <laughs> and I'll always be grateful for I Hillary to forget that 111. Yeah, one, one. I love that because it, it, learning the tools, and Reiki. To follow those feelings. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. And you learn that. It's not just your show. So the people in our lives sometimes have very special things. They don't even know that they're doing it, but well, they're just like. We have a common friend that you were working with, that common friend who sent you to me. Yeah. And felt that we were supposed to work together. Yeah, exactly. And he's a beautiful human being. And yeah. he just felt that there was something that we I, could do with each other. 
and I got to tell you, there's nobody more excited than him that you're coming there and doing that kind of stuff. So now, just give me a little bit. Like, if somebody came in for numerology reading, yeah, the tarot, the other stuff we und- we know. So yeah. that's why I'm kind of focusing yeah. on this this time. Uh, like, about how long do they take? What what does it consist of? So it can be really extensive. Mm-hmm. So. Um, we can do a basic life path, soul and outer, which, you know, you can go really in depth with a person's, um, you know, um, uh, demeanors and, and, um, you know, their, their way of being. So, so your life path, um, represents, you know, journeys that you've been on in the past, you know, as well as what you've come into this life to learn. So that can tell you a lot about career. It can tell you a lot what you'll be good at in this life. Mm -hmm. Um, Your soul, and and I'm sorry, I misspoke. Your your life path is very much this lifetime oriented. So just alone, say if you're a life path six, there's so much to get into about just that. Mm -hmm. So um, we can get into career, we can get into relationship, we can get into finances, everything in this, in this world now, that, that's you. Now, when we go into your soul number, that's going to speak about past lives, if you believe in that. If you don't believe in, in the past lives, it's going to talk about what you came here with, what you came here very good at mm-hmm. already. So that can be very good to know so that you know like that deep part of yourself because we always get messages and, and, and our brain, which hypno teaches us, our conscious mind is such a result of everything around us. Absolutely. So understanding this information is like, we want to tune into the inner landscape. It's really all about know thyself. That's how people, you know, I believe that's my kind of mission statement is when people know themselves, we, we behave differently. The whole world changes when we yeah. when we are like, oh, I am the party, I am the show. What is this about me? <laughs> I'm not. I can't sit there in a library. I'm not meant to. I'm a loud number five who needs to experience, you know. And Absolutely. you're not going to put yourself. And I've had readers tell me, uh, you know, Daisy who works for me, uh, she's told me, and I've also gotten it and been told it in Dreamland and everything, that I was I've done so many lives on the holistic path. I was required to do some of the other stuff. And that's what made it that I had to be the accountant, accountant and stuff like that for so many years. Yeah. And I managed to make my own fun out of it because I am a positive person. But when I went to my shop afterwards, all of a sudden I felt like I was where I was. Belonged. Yeah, exactly. You know so I mean? a lot of us go through life and not it's not until really like our second half that we were like, you know, I really need to find out who I am. So now people are getting these little intu- intuitive hits that, you know, they're being led to this kind of work. And mm. um, so if someone was to come in for a numerology reading, we could do a quick 30 minute reading in which I would just look at the life path, the soul and the outer number, and we'll bang that out. If you wanted an, a more extensive reading, um, I could do in person, that could go like two hours, or I would get the information first if they wanted a divine triangle reading along with what I've just said, the soul mm-hmm. and all that. Explain the divine triangle. So it, it, the, it's geometry, it's so interesting. So it goes back to Pythagore- Pythagoras, right? So the father of mathematics. And um, it's, um, so it's a very ancient, sacred, practice um so it's it's a it's a certain it's a triangle and each line has a different value you put you know one to nine so the way you know there's a specific way to do it and then it will tell you each nine years what cycle it will be happening for an example i'm on an 11 path right now but in like eight or six more years, I'll be on another line and it will be a different. Okay. And then the points also have information too. So it's involved. And like I said, this along with, you know, astrology, other things, all these things to know thyself. Well, you know, I'm a big say, you need more tools in your toolbox. The more you can have, the better. That's my, I think yeah. that's a huge thing. Yeah. I had someone say something to me because when I did get involved in this, 
how spirit gets me to get on the path I'm supposed to do is they really kick me in the butt. So when they kicked me in the butt and I went to search out for, to forget myself on the right path, and when I went to search that out, I was like, and I love it when somebody comes to my shop that, that are just like sponges and they want to know everything, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I saw that in you and I've seen that yeah. in quite a few people. And when that happens, that happened to me. And I had someone that owned a center that turned around and said, you're doing too much. Well, I don't think there's ever too much. No, and, and something like that, you can recognize any type, anytime anybody says anything in a competitive manner. It's very That's what easy. I felt it was, yeah. It's very easy to feel that and then just know, you know, we're all on our different journeys. And mm -hmm. I've gotten a lot better now of like not taking that stuff personal. And I didn't, my 13 year old daughter got really angry with it. Yeah. She said she's jealous but because she was. you're opening up. And <laughs> yeah. She, and she yeah. said, yeah. and that woman, she should have been th thankful because she was a wonderful organizer of healers and stuff like that, but the, all of a sudden it became not it's enough a for her. Perfect example, Patty, of know thyself. If she knew more about herself and and was tuned into her inner landscape, she, when, when we're walking in our alignment, we don't have time for competition. It just no. doesn't exist. I, I've I've never I don't feel competitive or or jealous ever, and mm -hmm. it's something that I addressed. Yeah, with this, know thyself, because we're all different flowers, aren't absolutely, we? Absolutely, absolutely. And, 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 and it's so funny because I had a hard time getting my teacher to do teach the teacher with me for hypnotherapy, so that way I could teach others. And I had a really hard time getting her to do it. And finally, I said I was going to go to this other guy who I didn't want to because I didn't like his ethics. So don't get me wrong, but I loved her ethics. But she still had that ego where she felt like she was creating her own competition. Well, I laughed. I needed to find a specific certificate and hypnotherapy. I've got probably 250 students and I, I, it doesn't bother me. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Well, and it never has. It's unfortunate that you didn't have yeah. somebody like that. It, it, um, I know the space you've created is just like a powerhouse. It reminds you of like Charles Xavier School for the Gifted and X-Men. Oh. Like we're creating, there's there's beautiful, you've, you're such a powerhouse energy and you're just, there's so many people with different tools, different, and we all learn from each other and it's just a beautiful space. And that is what you need. That's what and you need. And I still have students I send people to because I think they're going to be better for them. Yeah. Uh, our friend. Working together. <clears throat> exactly. Our friend. Yes. I have sent people yes. to him. Yeah. He sends people to me. Yeah. Um, and it, he is, a person like him is another one that I would let me use, use the shop. I'm very fussy over yeah. who because the energy has to be healthy and healing and genuine and and. And positive. And I remember being so grateful, specifically being aware of the fact that m our friend was like, you know what? I think that you'd do better with my friend. I, you need to go see my friend. And I, I remember after our first meeting, I was like, I'm just so, the biggest thing that I can say is, I've had fairy godmothers and fathers <laughs> in my life that have just, and I think we all do, If and that's the key too, like opening our heart, right? To, to be open to these blessings that kind of come all the time. Um, it's just because it does take a village. Humanity, my friends, it's not a singular consciousness. It's, a, it's an I am. That's the first law, the I am. It's all is one. We all came from that same place originally, maybe 75,000 years ago. How long we've been incarnating, who knows? But um, ultimately, yeah, we, we need each other and we're here for each other. And absolutely, and your energy is fantastic. So Daisy, who works for me, she um, <laughs> took uh, clinical hypnosis with you, yeah. and she was the one that, when I mentioned you, she, he, she went, oh, I love her. I so, couldn't get enough time with <laughs> Yeah, so the energy, because she and I are very fussy. We're very different people. Yes. And we do respect. things differently, but we're love, like sisters, love. and, and mm -hmm. we, we ex want the same thing. That is a perfect example, Patty, and it's so great that, that you guys are even doing this. The more that we can get that, you, you just honestly, you two women, like, because it, it, that testimony right there, different people, but love is what it is, and we, life can be so much easier if we just know thyself, 
shine, floss in who you are, and then you meet another person and you're like, oh, we can do blah, 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 and then you create. And, and she is a Taurus and I'm an Aquarian, so it's a very different energy. Yeah. So we did a holistic <laughs> fair together and I figured you'd enjoy this. It just came up recently and I remembered it. And I got her to go on this panel and we, what we did is we did a mediumship thing on a person and a person's gotten a raffle well, she likes to do one-on-ones. I like to do groups. I like to drag her into my group sometimes. Oh. So we joke, she grounds me yeah. and I get her out of the box. Mm -hmm. And so she turns around and she goes, uh, I saw her turn bright red. And I said, what did I do to her? And then I saw her take a breath and go like this and like this. And she just made the aisle way for herself. And that's why we talked about this, because even though it's my business, yeah. I still like to, she's been with me for 22 years. Yeah. So I like to, to go to her. so and, special. And she turned around and was so excited that you were coming, because I think your energy is like almost like a little bit of both of us. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will take that. So, do you know what I mean? So yeah. you've got a little bit of both of us in it. Yeah. So you've got a little bit of that more, like that numerology. I love to teach like a basic of that. Mm -hmm. Getting deeper, I, you do it. Yeah, do yeah, you know I mean? exactly. And astrology, Brett, you do it. Yeah, do you speaking know? of that, I have somebody for you. I need to talk to you okay. about. <laughs> but in, the, in there, it's just, uh, I'm so excited about this because when I talked to you about coming, I didn't know about the numerology readings and oh, yeah. I'm so excited yeah. about them. I am so excited. It's empowering. And then also as moms, as parents, to know your child's blue blueprint, holy crap, it changes the whole thing, Absolutely. you know? Absolutely. You, you, you know what to expect, you know, you know, you can, you can give them a environment to thrive. So that's been mm -hmm. super huge too. For and, and, and just the other things that you notice when you do touch into numerology, like I see the clock say 1111. Oh, yeah. Or 111. Like Absolutely. Every night and every day, practically. So, and, and, and what you, makes me look at it at that moment? Do you know what I mean? It's that, into, it's that third eye. It's the mind's mm -hmm. eye. Because the universe that we live in is actually numbers, frequency, it's vibration, it's sound and numbers. So how our friends who, you know, stay with me, but... You know, we have angels and, and, and different beings like Earth. If, if, if you want to live in my head, Earth is, <laughs> Earth is not the only I place. Mind <laughs> head. I wouldn't mind hanging in your head. Uh, Earth is not the only place, and, and not everybody speaks English or Spanish. These are young languages, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so, how our friends speak is through those repetitions, those synchronicities, those numbers. And what's super important, too, is knowing the power of self. You can assign a meaning to the numbers before, and your guides would love that. So, we know we're communicating clearly. You know, you can say, you know, guides, angels, show me 1111 when I'm doing the right thing, it's the right time. Show me 555 when there's a change coming, get ready, I'm supported, but some change is happening. So it goes, it's super, life is beautiful. The, tr the food goes on the trees, you know. And, and do you know something too? Larry um, had some things to resolve with his father and his father when he came through was always 444. Four, four. Yeah. And I see 444, four, four, I usually know I need to call him. It's it's just Love it's it. I have You're certain so people that like, yeah you just <laughs> you, oh I gotta call him and check in with him yeah and it's it's just crazy the way the whole it thing makes works. life fun because society to me is crap so <laughs> <laughs> and when you realize no coincidence is a coincidence Never. and and that kind of stuff Never. it just it makes everything so special it makes life exactly velvet again mm -hmm. and that's how it should be so yep that's absolutely wonderful. Fair. Now, one of the ways that you get through is to call the mind's eye. Yes, for sure. And, and do you have a Facebook page? Or? I'm not on Facebook yet. I need to be. I am on Instagram. Okay, so as the Instagram. At Water Jane. Water Pisces, Jane. middle name's Jane. Um, also, uh, through Patty, mind's eye. My email is kind of complicated, so Just I won't go ahead. that. Go ahead. All right, and so it's C, and then my last name is Kribari, C R I. B A R I at yahoo.com. Excellent, excellent. And any guests that I have, um, I only have people that I, I have a connection with. So if any guests 
that comes if you need to get a hold of them. I can get I can get the information out to you. So tell me, uh, we've done a lot on the numerology. So just tell me a little bit about some of the other stuff that you're going to sure. be doing. Um, so I became a Reiki master with you, and mm -hmm. that's been a practice that I'm really grateful for. Talk about the bite of water. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. So um, I actually. It's, our friend Steph, who we took, who became a master with me, actually. Absolutely. We yeah. were together, and um, just intuitively, I was like, lay down. And then I, we just did this uh, a session at the water, and she just started bawling her eyes out. A lot came out easy. I found it was just like this total beautiful with the water. I'm such a water lover, so I, I just was able to be the human kind of conduit but I had this immense energy helping. It, it just was magical. There are many times, like your previous guest said, you can't really put words to the feeling. I've experienced ecstatic feelings, and, and that can really change anybody, take them out of depression or any out of way of living when Absolutely. you experience an ecstatic feeling, which your brain can manufacture. And this is what I'm passionate about. So Reiki by the Water is about five minutes down from the mind's eye, and we just it's just like a regular Reiki session, but we're on the sand and by the water, and I have a little spot that's private that nobody goes to, so. Perfect, yeah, absolutely I love it. perfect. And the uh, hypnotherapy, um, I'm just like, I can't wait to just sprint with that. Um, the guided, you know, guided meditations and just, I find, I, I work in a, in a, uh, you know, a club, <laughs> a bar. It's very busy, and I'm doing like Reiki all the time. <laughs> I'm like, and the and the guide and the hypnotherapy. People subconscious. It's just waiting to have a safe space, absolutely, to be let out. So um, I, I really am passionate about all of it. And, and really, I love with Reiki because you can send that and do that anytime. All the time. There's a cop pulling someone over, send a Reiki. <laughs> uh, and I do that when I see a car that's been in an accident, I'm sending Reiki. Yeah. And yeah. it was so funny. I was One of my most exciting ones that I had was there was a gentleman. I was in London, and there was a gentleman that was, um, he had gotten hurt the next day, hurt his knee. And he was with his wife, and we were doing this tour, this big tour thing. And he didn't want to ruin it for anybody else. He walked like he didn't limp or anything. But when he got back on the bus, he was like, and spreading his leg out, and mm. like kind of like, and, and it was almost like throbbing. And I just sat there, and I just sent in Reiki. And as soon as I sent it, he went, ah. And he moved yeah. his leg in. Yeah. So I mean, that's something you can do with homeless people. Everything. You know, just everything. Yeah. And it's just and yourself a too, thing. Patty. Right? We forget that. We forget that. to do that, <laughs> don't we all? We all forget to do ourselves. You gotta do yourself. That and I always, I'm a big, big one for people taking deep breaths, holding yeah, that's their breaths, what and I, letting go. Yes, I'm so grateful. I'm yep. so grateful. And I find two o'clock in the morning when I wake up, if I don't do this, then I'm up until five, and then I'm like, why did I worry about that? And if you, t if you don't, you stop and you take those three deep breaths. Yeah. The oxygen goes to the brain yeah. and throws out the crazy thoughts. It's true. Chemically, physiologically, different chemicals are being released. So when you open up your stomach, we're supposed to be breathing down here first. A lot of us are breathing here first, and that's, that's anxious, anxiety, disease. It's not helping anything. No. So a huge thing you can do is that deep breath, opening the chest and starting from down there. That's something huge, Patty. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I'll forget to do it, and then Spirit will send me a client that I'll feel that I need to say it, and I go, you ding that. You've been up for three nights. <laughs> You've, right. You know what right. I mean? And you right. want to just give yourself a good old whack to do it. So yeah. I'm so excited about you joining us I and I'm so, so excited grateful. about you coming here today. I'm so grateful. And I told you we wouldn't have a problem talking. No. <laughs> <laughs> I told you that. So and, grateful. Um, and like I said, and you're gonna you're also working on the massage to eventually yes, add so that to I, it. Um, there's a year program now. CCRI just opened their thing, so I'm absolutely going to do that. And from there, I want to do acupuncture. So we're in this for the long haul. Oh, love it. <laughs> I love it. So anyway, I, I thank, thank you for joining me today. Thank you, Patty. I thank, thank you, you for joining me. And I thank you for being a student in my <laughs> thing. And 
you've always been inspiring to myself and anybody else that's on there. Oh, which thank you. You just are. And even at the, the Psychic Nights, if I have someone that's upset, I always send them to Courtney. <laughs> she gets all the upset clients. I'm honored. All kids. When I have a little girl, somebody brought an 11-year-old girl to this, and I knew you'd be fabulous, and that little girl was so happy when she went back to the Good. table. So I'm honored. I knew you were perfect. Bye. I knew you were perfect. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely.